Hey guys, welcome back. Neil here. Today we're going to talk about pixels, some um, token updates. We're also going to talk about Plus Finance. They have recently launched their platform where you can be an investor, gamer, or NFT owner. Later on, we're going to discuss about that. Also, we're going to talk about Gororo Ranch. What are the um, the rewards that you can get right now and also how much can you possibly earn from playing Gororo Ranch. If you like this kind of videos, make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. For Pixel, we're still waiting for the chapter 2.5. There will be improvements when it comes to uh, the task board, which is, by the way, not so good right now. There will also be some upcoming balancing. So yeah, I'm waiting for more info about that. But right now, what you can do is actually just grind your levels and maybe try the task board from time to time. Uh, you still can earn, given that Pixel is also going up right now. So if you have noticed here guys, we have bounced again in this support. Just like what I've said from my last video. This is a support that we are still respecting. So what happened last week was we uh, went down here. And then since we have some buyers right here, we were able to push the price higher again. And then this time we're trying to retest this resistance again. What I'm thinking here guys is that if we keep trying to um, retest this resistance, someday it will break and there is a chance that we will go back to 32 cents. Same scenario if we break this support. Um, if we keep going back here and then trying to retest this one, there will be a chance that this zone will break and that is when the price goes up or goes down. It's going to Plus Finance. Yesterday, they have launched their platform. If you are just a gamer or a higher level pixel player, then you can choose this option. Um, once you click the Pixels Farmland, if you are level 500, you should be able to see here an option to rent via VLND or via peer-to-peer -peer or P2P. Now, it doesn't mean you have to spend because you can just choose 0% ownership and that is when you get like a portion of earnings from landowners. Now, if you want to become an investor, you can click the investor page and then you can earn up to 35% APY by just minting VLND. Now, when it comes to NFT owner tab, you can um, delegate your lands here for rent. If you have idle NFTs like Pixels lands, then you can delegate your land for rental. You will get like around 90% earnings from landowner tasks once your land has been rented by a gamer. Now, when it comes to upcoming airdrop, I think it will be around next month. So be prepared for that. Uh, it also comes up with claim and stake. We're waiting for further announcement from them, but that is what's coming soon. Airdrop and then claim and stake. Now going to Kuroru Ranch, I have been posting a lot about this one because I think the best way to earn in crypto gaming is by participating into airdrops. So if you haven't tried this game yet, you can click the link in the comments and description. Now just an overview, X will serve as your airdrop points. So the more X or rare eggs that you have, like the gold one, the more airdrop points that you will get for you to get Kuro token. Now you can also get Kuro token by participating in the spin every day. The most expensive one that I know is the Kuro Beast silver ticket. So if you get one of those, it's ranging around $700 to $1,000. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have more Kuro token once the airdrop is live because I've been um, grinding for the past few days now. So yeah, I guess that's all. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.